Hey folks, Eric Smith here with the next entry in my series about the secret history of the world by F. Paul Wilson. And today I'm talking about Panacea. Uh, this is the first in a trilogy, I believe. And it fits into the secret history. We'll talk about that uh, a little later in the video. First, of course, I'm going to review the book. And then I'll talk about where it fits into the whole secret history. So, what we have here with Panacea is uh, Laura Fanning, who is a medical examiner, and right off, right off the bat, she's examining, um, she gets two burned up bodies in two days, or maybe even the same day. It's pretty quick. They're, they're two different fires, don't seem to have any relation, but of course they will, because this is F. Paul Wilson. Uh, and then she gets this offer from this really sick old man to go and search for this legendary panacea, a cure-all. Um, and he just, he offers her basically too much money to refuse, and he's going to send this ex-Navy SEAL with her uh, wherever she needs to go, starting in Mesoamerica. Uh, wherever she needs to go, he's going to finance it. He wants this ex-Navy SEAL going with her to protect her because there's also Nelson Fife. He's an agent of the CIA, but more importantly, he's part of this thing called the Brotherhood or the 536 Brotherhood. And they are fanatics who believe that a panacea goes against the wishes of God. You know, if you get sick... That's God's will. If you die, that's God's will. Um, although, they don't seem to have a problem with, you know, hospitals and doctors and things. But this sort of, this miracle cure, I guess, goes against God's wishes. God's wishes. So, so Nelson Fife and the Brotherhood um, have been, have spent centuries searching for the panacea and the creators and distributors of it so they can just wipe it off the face of the earth. And of course, they're going to be butting heads with Laura Fanning. And that's uh, your nutshell, I guess. So, all right, I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. I Every time I pick up a new book by F. Paul Wilson to read that's not like a Repairman Jack, or part of the adversary cycle. This is, again, the first book of three that I believe, I believe that all three are Laura Fanning. Um, you know, I'm a little nervous. How's it going to go? But I don't know why, because as always, F. Paul Wilson just knocks it out of the park. I'll tell you right now, five out of five on Goodreads. This book is fantastic. He introduces us to these characters. He builds them up. His writing is amazing. The story moves along at such a pace. His character building is great. Uh, you know, we get to know everything we need to know about Laura Fanning and her, her ex-husband. She has a child who has had uh, a stem cell replacement for leukemia. So she's immunocompromised at the moment. I believe she's eight years old. Um... And we get to know Nelson Fife and his obsession and, and why and how and the the things he does. He's a great, great character. Um, and the people he works with, uh, you know, he's a horrible person, but a great character. Well-written, fascinating character. Um, the the ex-Navy SEAL, Rick Hayden fascinating character with a mysterious past. Um, there's a, a detective that maybe has a crush on Laura Fanning who's helping out and um, just so well written. And nope, got to save that for later. <laughs> I was going to mention some things. Um, got to save it for the, the part about secret history of the world. So this is, I mean, this is, this is an adventure novel. Essentially, you've got uh, the good guys traveling around the world, following these clues, uh, 
you know, searching for their goal, and you've got the bad guys who have their own agenda and are trying to stop our good guys. Uh, and as I said, it just moves so quickly. This is definitely... Uh, yeah, it's it's up there. It's it's one of my favorites right now, I think, of the, of the F. Paul Wilson books. And like I said, I don't know why I ever doubt, you know, when I pick up one of these... I keep wanting to say unconnected, but they're obviously all connected. It's part of the Secret History of the World series. Um, but it's not a Repairman Jack book. It's not an Adversary Cycle book. Um, why, do I, why do I doubt Mr. Wilson? He's proven himself over and over again to just be a great, great writer who develops great characters and thrilling action scenes. It's even if you're not into uh, the whole secret history of the world or Repairman Jack, the adversaries, like any of that other stuff, I'd still recommend this to somebody who just wants to read a great thriller uh, that's incredibly well written with wonderful characters. And it's only three books, so you don't even have to get into all the other stuff. You can just read this um, and the other two if you dig it without having to worry about any of the other stuff. So that's Panacea, F. Paul Wilson, five out of five stars. Absolutely fantastic. Did not want to put it down. Stupid day job and sleep getting in my way, as always. Um, so there you have it. That's, that's my review. Let's get into the secret history stuff. I'm moving around. I'm making myself more comfortable. All right, so I have to grab my trusty handle of signals. And flip to the back so I can tell you that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so we're in year zero minus one. For those who don't know, if this is your first time watching, if you're not familiar with the history of the world, secret history of the world, year zero is the end of this series, and it is when the world is the end of the world as we know it. Uh it's the very last book in all of this is Night World. So that's year zero, and then things sort of, our calendar moves backwards. So year zero minus one is the year before that. We've already had things in year zero minus two, minus three, and then the past. So year zero minus one, we are a year away from the end of the world as we know it. And Panacea takes place in April, and I didn't realize that the two previous books also take place in April. So we had Bloodline, uh, which is a Repairman Jack book, followed by The Fifth Harmonic, which is the last one that I did in this series, and then now Panacea. All three of those books take place in April. And so, right off the bat... In this book, we get some ties to the secret history of the world and other things. Uh, very early on, there's mention of the All Mother, which is uh, was a big thing in the Fifth Harmonic and in the Repairman Jack books. There are these characters that say uh, that Jack keeps meeting. He keeps meeting these women with dogs, and they keep saying, I'm your mother. Um, so that's a big part of all of this, the All Mother. And then there's uh, just a quick one-time mention of the Dormentalists, uh, which is a cult that was introduced in one of the Repairman Jack books that I do not remember which one off the top of my head. But I believe that's where they're introduced. That's the first place I heard of them. This big cult has something to do with everything that's going on. I want to say it's in Crisscross. Um, so they're mentioned. Then... One of the characters, Nelson Fife, is looking at a newspaper and it just casually mentions there's an article about something that happened in Bloodlines. And then uh, later in the book, there's literally a crossover, just a little one, but literally a crossover between this book and the Fifth Harmonic. Um, it's essentially one of those things where 
how do I put this? I'm trying not to give it, to give the specifics away, but essentially, uh, eh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to explain it. There's just a crossover, a little tiny crossover between this book and the Fifth Harmonic. I cannot think of a good analogy, and I don't want to tell you what it is, because you should read these books and find out for yourself. But anyway, really, really ties in. And, um, yeah, so with all this all-mother talk, that's sort of your overarching tie-in. And then these little tiny specific things, <coughs> excuse me, that show that it's all happening in the same world. Um, the Fifth Harmonic, aside from the all-mother stuff, didn't really connect with anything else, if I remember correctly. But now that we have a newspaper article that mentions something very specific from the Repairman Jack books, um, and mention of the, the Dormentalists, or Dormentalists, Dormentalists, and this crossover with the Fifth Harmonic, that gives us concrete ties between everything so far. Uh, and I love it. I just, I got excited when I saw that newspaper headline. I was like, I think, or the little, it tells you what the article's about. And I was like, I think I know what that is. And I just had to do a quick check. And I was like, absolutely. That's what I thought that was. And then the, uh, I didn't even have to do that for the crossover, which might be because the fifth harmonic is the last one I read in this series. Um, man, he really, really ties this together. I wish I had the, the wherewithal. I wish I wasn't so lazy. I would like do some, and maybe I will someday, but do some, uh, look at all the publication dates of these books, because I know that the, if you go in story chronology, it's not the same as publication chronology. Um, so I'm just, I, I'm interested in, uh, like when he published or wrote and published, say, Panacea versus the Fifth Harmonic and Bloodlines, since those are the ones that most closely ties to at the moment. Uh, now, in this case, I would assume this came after, but I know that there's, in the especially in the Repairman Jack series, we had uh, the Tomb, which is the first one, and I just said it. What the hell's the name of the last one? Um, Night World. You know, those were published long before a bunch of stories that took place in between. This book itself, uh, which is part of the Adversary Cycle and a prelude to Night World, was just published in... Well, let's take a look. Find the copyright page somewhere. It's got to have one. 2020. And Night World was published a long, long time ago. Uh, so, so F. Paul Wilson is filling in, filling things in, and I'm just interested in sort of the, the like I said, the publication order versus the actual story chronology um, to possibly give me an idea of how he's doing it. I don't know. But anyway, I'm getting way off topic. So let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say about this as far as the secret history of the world um this panacea i don't know if that's going to come into play more i know that there's again two more books in this trilogy and it obviously ties into everything else so how it's all going to come together i can't say uh let me look at my list here next up we have the god gene which I believe is the next book in this in this trilogy, right? Yes, the God Gene, and then after that is By the Sword, which is back to Repairman Jack. And looks like we got a couple of Repairman Jacks, then an Adversary cycle, and then another one of these. So I had a bunch of Repairman Jacks in a row, and at this point, it looks like a lot of things are being mixed together. So. 
Yeah. And I keep saying I'm going to try to do these more often, but I end up, you know, I have so many books to read. But this this did kind of almost, I mean, it made me want to jump right into the next one, but I do have other things that I got to read. Um, so that's it, I guess. I think I covered everything I need to cover. Um, so as far as the book itself, highly, highly recommended. Fantastic. And as far as the secret history of the world, it definitely ties in very specific things. Uh, are mentioned in here, and I'm interested to see how much it's going to affect uh, the coming books that I that I read. So that's it. Panacea, F. Paul Wilson, five out of five stars. Great, great book. Uh, all right, so I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, so. On to you folks. If you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here uh, on my channel. So some of those things I hinted at, like if you really want to know without reading it, I don't recommend it. But I will tell you if you ask politely. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. You know, all the YouTube stuff. If you care to follow me on other social media, my Twitter is at Ronin5757. My Instagram, where I post pictures of books, comic books, board games, and fuzzy animals, is Eric Smith5757. That's Eric with a K, E R I K E R I K S M I T H five seven five seven. And that's all I've got. So until next time, read more books. <laughs>